What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to multitask on iOS 7. Now there wasn't too much to the app switcher or multitasking in iOS 6, but on iOS 7 you have much smarter multitasking. So iOS 7 will actually learn when you like to use your apps and will update your content before you actually launch them. So let's say you check your Twitter or Facebook every morning at 7 a.m. when you get up. It's actually going to know that and have that feed updated and waiting for you when you tap on the app. So if we go ahead and double press on the home button here, this is going to bring up the app switcher. Now you can see it's much different from the iOS 6 app switcher and it gives you this new card based interface. It displays a screenshot of the app you're running along with the logo of the app right below the card. You'll also notice that closing apps just got a whole lot easier. Now if you just swipe up on the card, then it's going to slide up and close just like that. And it's much easier than the iOS 6 when you had to tap and hold, get it into wiggle mode, and then hit that tiny little X to close the app. And also, if you're cleaning up your app switcher and you want to close multiple applications, you can do so by swiping two of them up at the same time, or even three, just like that. They redesigned the app switcher to make multitasking much easier, much more fluid, and at the same time not having a major impact on the battery life. The previews of the app will even update in the background to reflect the latest content. So basically this means that you won't have to launch an app and tap refresh or even use the pull to refresh feature to download the latest content. It's already going to be there. So a much needed improvement for all the multitaskers out there and I think it's a big step forward. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my iOS 7 videos then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.